Hey everybody, good afternoon. Sending you the highest vibration of love, power, strength, abundance, prosperity in all areas of your life, Ashe. All right, this feels like a lot of money. Um, some of you guys, I heard penny pension. So some of you guys may be called to penny pinch. Some of you guys are um, just penny pension. It's something to do with penny pension. But the Ace of Pentacles is the overall um, energy, but the Knight of Pentacles, more money is behind that, coupled by the ten. Oh my God, y'all! Y'all got like all the, pin the pinnacles in the in the dog on deck. Um, so yeah, it's um, for some of you guys like a, a progressive paced uh, progress. I hope that makes sense when it comes to your um, money coming into. I hear something about being loose. They don't want you to be too loose with your money. Even though you may have some um, some increases for some of you guys, this is something a gift. Somebody here, this car came out yesterday. Hold on. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Um, the Page of Pentacles could be some unexpected grants. Magician, somebody is trying to crumb you or give you things to make you stick around. With the Page of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Devil card. They're trying to use their own covert way of keeping you bind, keeping you connected, keeping you tied in with them. Um, it's something to do with money. The Two of Pentacles is balancing your checkbook. Also, you're feeling a little confused about certain investments, about certain connections when it comes to money. Two of Pentacles. Using your intuition. Um that can possibly put you in a more grounded pace or more grounded place when it comes to your money and your finances, okay? The Eight of Pentacles is do not get too comfortable where you stop working. Whatever you've been doing to keep you in a healthy place for some of you guys, continue to do that. Sorry, y'all. I did see the Tower card a lot, you guys. I just wanted to let y'all know. So something may come be illuminated this weekend. What is this eight of pentacles? This is patience. Somebody is really carving out their life, but they're keeping it to them. They have some new things that are going to bring them a lot of happiness with the ten of cups and the will of fortune. The chariot is moving towards your dreams, your desires, your goals, your ambitions. We're moving steadily. This is very direct. And then we have the nine of swords. We have some anxiousness tied into all of this because we're just waiting and wondering when all this is going to really hit the way you expect it to hit. No expectations, just flow and surrender and receive. Peace.